Probably a mixed farm where we grow a lot of cereals and stuff for the, for the dairy herd and we're also growing 100 acres of spuds alongside an uncle uh, down in Bally Castle, so that keeps us busy. We went for each other like a bullet from a gun Faster than the sheriff's drawing, hotter than the sun Didn't see it coming lately, I've been on the run You know you've seen my face before, so let me tell you some Darling, you fell in love with the famous man I'm David Jamison, farming here just outside Ballamoney, County Antrim, farming with mum and dad here. This is the home block of ground, a couple of hundred acres in a block here. Just bought this Amazon sower off McMullins this spring. We're right here today sowing the side ice ground for the first cut. Just can, 27% can, just over two and a half hundred of it to the acre. And we'll hopefully cover the full side ice platform today. So It's not early by any means, but it's early for us. Like. Uh, in a normal year, it's been the end of the month, sometimes at the start of April before we've been able to get on the ground. But we get that on today, we should hopefully still be cutting middle of May, so that's the plan anyway. We looked at different spreaders, that's a two-ton sore. Um, we're never working that far from home. Just to keep weight down for ground compaction, we don't really need anything bigger. Uh, we had looked at a three-ton sore, but didn't feel the need for our job. Ground conditions are pretty good for the time of year, but uh, as you can see down there, there's places you don't need to be in carrying two and three tonne with you. Been thinking about changing the sp my old spreader for a few years now and uh, didn't actually get around to it, but uh, this year bit the bullet and went for the machine with the section control and the way cells, just for more accuracy uh, in the spreading. My old spreader didn't have that, just a basic manual spreader and so indifferent types of fertilizer or different products. It was very hard getting settings to do it accurately, so went for the full way cell and section control machine this time and with the Amazon app it definitely definitely leaves it easy to uh, get the machine set accurately. You've got the the app, the Am my spreader app on your phone. It'll whenever you select your fertilizer from a list of thousands, it'll give you the settings for each working width. So today we're showing 21 meters it gave me the vein positions, border spreading positions, and shut off times. So I enter that from my phone onto the tractor's display, check the vein settings, and away you go. To be able to go out and set the machine at a rate and put that on all across the board, when you speed up, slow down, the rate stays the same. And then for the sex control coming into short runs and points, she shuts off automatically and keeps an even distribution of the product. So whenever the machine's set up, I'd be pretty confident that she's doing everything that she should be and putting the product where it's meant to be. The spreader could go on any of my tractors, um, mostly go on this one with the 900 tyres. I have the extend monitor from John Deere, uh, so I'm running the Amazon screen on that, and then I can run the GPS through the, the tractor screen. We're on full auto steer on the 155R here. Just recently set up my own RTK base station. Uh, I was using through a dealer network before, but I've now got my own base station up and running, so that's everything down to two centimetre accuracy for for sewing, and she'll be using that, for, the sewer will be using that for the section control as well. So the machine, as far as I know, comes as standard with the hooking off wheels. Very easy to put down, very easy hooked on off. The machine's just really well finished, roll over cover and very little maintenance too. The machine's pretty low maintenance. You only have three, three, four grease nipples on the complete machine. The one piece hopper is very easy washed, so hopefully that uh, will keep the paint work good for a long number of years. So Stephen from McMullins came out and uh, helped me set her up the first day and do the mat test. Most of the machines will be set up the same, we calibrate them all in-house and then we send them out to the customer and we tailor it to suit whatever fertiliser they're sowing, spreading width, etc. 
the first thing we'll be asking, we'll be finding out what the spreading width is and what fertilizer the man's for sowing. What we do then is we'll do a mat test, what we call a mat test. We lay out a row of mats here and we're basically checking the accuracy throughout the width, the spreading width of the sower. If the customer, for example, is working with 21 metre tram lines, the sower theoretically is throwing that actually 42 metres wide. And what she does is she does a double pass and she's getting her 100% accuracy then through the two passes. But very important, especially today with the price of fertiliser and everybody's farming so much more intensively and they're basically trying to get the most out of every acre. You get an Amazon ZAV Eco line and that's what you see here with the same spreading discs but with no way cells and no calibrations or anything like that. It's just an ordinary PTO driven manual shutters and there's no electronics involved but you can spec them how you want. You've got way cells, then you've got a calibration meter and then you've got your border spread as well and hydraulic covers and everything else comes out after that. With a PTO, you're working with a fixed PTO speed, which means you have a fixed disc speed, but the hydraulic driven, she can alter the disc speed to uh, worker sections and for border spreading as well. We talked earlier about the 42 metres. If you're spreading 21 metres and she's theoretically throwing at 42 metres, well this here, what this does is, that shuts that down and spreads it into the hedge, so she's not throwing it out past the hedge. The next setting on her is the vein positions and you can see here you push this lever down and move it across and she clicks into place. So that's to change your spreading width and to suit different types of fertilizer. The app basically it's a database of multiple fertilizers like there'll be thousands of fertilizers in this app and what the farmer does he puts in the settings of his machine types in the fertilizer finds the exact type of fertilizer he's spreading so he's putting in the details into his uh, Amatron 4 or onto his spreader screen and then he's setting his border position and the vein position. Whenever you start spreading with a new type of fertilizer the first thing you're going to do is put in the settings from the app onto your screen. So the settings you'll be putting into the screen will be a calibration factor, a switch on point and a switch off point. The calibration factor whenever it's changed the machine then will read every 25 kilos she puts through her. For the first 10 times she'll read how many acres she's sold and theoretically adjust that calibration factor. She's constantly working out whether she's putting the right amount of fertilizer out per acre. It goes the first 10 times and then after that it's every 250 kilos. So it's 25 kilos up until the first 250 kilos and then after that it is 250 kilos at a time. Anybody, it goes from small farmers to big farmers to contractors really and that's, that's kind of the market we're aiming for is, is the farmer that wants to spread his fertilizer right and uh, the contractor. Well, with the cost of ground and renting ground, everybody knows that getting your fertilizer on right is absolutely crucial these days. We went for each other like a bullet from a gun Faster than the sheriff's drawing, hotter than the sun Didn't see it coming lately, I've been on the run You know you've seen my face before, so let me tell you something Dark